The Port of San Diego's two cargo terminals pump more than a billion and a half dollars into the region every year. San Diego's natural deep water port, the fourth largest in California, is vital to the county's economy. Maritime trade operations provide thousands of good paying jobs for local workers. One in ten new foreign cars driving on our nation's highways enter the U.S. at the port's national city terminal. And every dull banana sold west of the Rockies, from Mexico to Canada, passes through the port's older and more compact facility at the 10th Avenue Marine Terminal. While the National City Marine Terminal is operating at full capacity, there's opportunity for cargo growth right here at 10th Avenue, but only if it's reconfigured and modernized. The port has put together a redevelopment plan that frees up space for new business and gives the terminal flexibility for the future. With a few changes, it could handle even more of the specialty and non-container cargo that it moves today, boosting our economy and creating new jobs. The proposed modernization plan essentially calls for creating three terminals on one footprint, each catering to a different type of cargo. One area would be dedicated as an omni-terminal for brake bulk, catering to project cargo that doesn't fit in containers. High, wide, and heavy shipments such as shipyard steel, windmill blades, turbines, vehicles, and even military equipment that require flexible open space. A second area would be set aside for refrigerated cargo, a commitment to fresh fruit carriers who are attracted to San Diego because of its on-dock cold storage facility, one of only two on the West Coast. A third area would be dedicated to bulk cargo, products like cement and soda ash used in local construction. Today, these products are stored at several locations around the terminal. Moving them to one location would free up space for new uses. These transit sheds were built in the 1950s, and they were great for storing the cargo of the time. Things that were fragile and needed cover, like cotton and newsprint. But today, these transit sheds are standing in the way of progress. Removal of the sheds is part of the redevelopment plan, because as they stand, the sheds block direct access between the ships and key port facilities, the cold storage building for fruit, and the open space for break bulk. Eliminating the sheds improves access and creates more open space for storage, an improvement that means more business for San Diego. Also part of this proposal is the creation of a more efficient centralized gate facility. And long-range planning includes the potential for additional on-dock intermodal rail facilities and installation of high-tech, low-emission gantry cranes. Of course, the Port of San Diego's Climate Action Plan and Greenport values remain guiding priorities for any proposed redevelopment. So the Port has commissioned an environmental impact review to determine the feasibility of the proposed redevelopment plan. The EIR is expected to be complete in a year to 18 months and will inform next steps in the process. San Diego's working waterfront is a cornerstone of the local economy. Modernizing the 10th Avenue Marine Terminal is a smart way to move more cargo generate new jobs, and ensure San Diego's continuing success story. The proposed plan will help the Port of San Diego continue providing a good way to move goods. We're planning for today, tomorrow, and the years ahead.